Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today I'm reading for the astrological sign of Libra from December 17th through the 31st. This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If it does, that's great. If it doesn't, take what you like, leave the rest. Also, this is for your rising, ascending, and or moon. And if you would like, you can put Venus in there too. I will um, be using the same cards as I always use my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards, my Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, and my Osha Zen Tarot cards. I want to thank everybody who has been subscribing. It's freaking me out a little bit, but I want to thank you all. It's been wonderful. Um, also, the comments. I've enjoyed reading the comments. I've been sick so about 10 days, so... I haven't been able to answer everybody, but I have been reading them, and I've been really enjoying that. I will go and start answering again, you know, after I'm done with my videos here. So again, we're going to start, and oh, if you haven't subscribed, then go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. Way at the bottom of everybody else's stuff is where you can comment. People have asked me where do I comment, all the way down at the bottom. Um, if you if you're not engaged, if this is not for you, then just pass me by. And there are plenty of other very talented reading readers out there. So let's get started now. So Libra, 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 some good stuff. I thought some good stuff was starting to happen for you. Money was coming for you, if I remember right. I don't go back and I don't revisit my readings because um, you know this. There may be new people on. It may. It's. 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 It, if it's, if it's very similar, then it's just the same energies that are going through. But I think you are getting money. Money, money, money. Libras, what's going on? Money was coming in. Now, money could still be coming in for you, Libras. You know, I think you're waiting for money. At least I know you're waiting for money. And I think that it's still coming in. Um, you know, it doesn't just, you know, I, one of my things that I've said on other videos is it's not like a light switch that, oh, there it is. Um, you know, that could be with relationships, anything like that. But I do still feel money for you. I feel like you're also um, coming to an end of something. You're coming to an end of something, and I'm not sure what that is. So let's see what the cards are saying. Maybe it's a wait for your money. Maybe it's just an end in itself. But let's see. First card that jumped out, Knight of Earth, Loyal, Dedicated. Honorable, kind, time to buckle down and get things done, honor your commitments, a guardian angel. You know, you have somebody watching over you. You have a guardian angel, your higher power, your spirit guide. You have somebody that's, wa that's you know, that is, that's watching over. And maybe what you need to do with this money, maybe you need to get your plan together. Not necessarily, you know, like maybe you need to follow up. I have mentioned an attorney one time, but maybe you need to follow up to see where this money is. You know, may, you know, maybe that's what it is. Time to buckle down and get things done. I really think that things are coming for you. They're coming to you. Page of water. Intuitive. Sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. Yes, Libras, you do have a heightened psychic ability. And now's the time that you really need to be using that. So if you're getting some gut instincts, go ahead and act upon them. Now, don't put yourself at risk acting upon them. But if it makes sense, go ahead and act on them too. King of Water. So we're getting a lot of the higher... Um, cards, king of water, and that's trustworthy, compassionate, um, respected culture. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. So we're getting a lot of the trustworthy. We're getting a lot of relationships. We're getting a lot of, you know, of getting, you know, basically um, putting your mind, you know, getting things together and putting it together and and oh, how do I want to put this down time to buckle down get things done honor your commitments new person enters your life a relationship begins um, open your heart mind you know, may uh, mind 
to those around you. There's a lot, there's a lot of groupings. I'm getting a lot of groupings and I'm getting that people are around you and that they're actually people that have your back. They do have your back, but at the same time, I'm getting an ending. I'm feeling an ending. So let's see if I can clarify these a little bit more with the psychic tarot cards because these these are, um, you know, water is basically your water signs. You know, it's, your, it's in tarot, it's cups. And water is your Scorpio, your Pisces, and your Cancer. And earth is your pentacles in tarot. And it's your, um, you know, your Capricorn, your Taurus, and your Virgo. So those could be people coming into your life. But, you know, but basically the people that are coming into your life or the people that are surrounding you, are really some good people and it may not necessarily be that you know they're rising it could be you know it, it may be something else is in the in it that this is just something that uh, it may not necessarily be that a Pisces comes into your life but it might be that somebody that has a moon in Pisces comes to your life and the same thing with the earth and the Pentacles but I'm feeling I'm seeing and I'm feeling that there's a lot of very there are very there's a lot of very um, supportive people around you and I'm feeling though that you also need to start accessing some of these these attributes yourself I feel like you're very intuitive artistic friendly you're very trustworthy you're compassionate you know you're the one that's loyal and dedicated so this is you know so while these are people that could be coming around you I also feel that you carry a lot of these signs. You know, it's a lot of these um, attributes. Let's put it that way. Mm. Yeah, so but let's see. Can you make sense of this for us? For our Libras. Make sense of this for us, please. You know, because what I'm gab that what I, I I'm still thinking that money's coming around you, things are starting to end that are that are supposed to end. That are it's good to end, you know, so you know, if it's a relationship, yeah, that person was supposed to get out of your life. If it was a job, yeah, you were supposed to leave that job. Okay, we'll put you down too. Then. Okay, let's see what these things that fell out. Obstacles and challenges. Triumphant success. So, you know, what I'm getting here is that you, you know, you have faced a lot of, you know, that's a five again, fives are change. You know, you have faced a lot of your obstacles and you have faced a lot of your challenges in your life. You have, you know, you're really a very kind hearted person and it's really hard to see why you might have had to have gone through that. Um, I, I don't know why you had to go through these obstacles in your life. I know that you are coming to a point triumphantly, your triumphant success that it, that's coming, and the fulfillment of your wishes are coming too. Now, I said this for cancers last time, but you know, if, if, if we were going to go through this, you have shown in this lifetime that you are a good person. Now, you have, okay, how do I, you know, I can't tell, you know, we all talk about karma, you know, karma is, you know, karma. And if there is, you know, if there is such a thing as karma, you are meeting your karma. You are, you are correcting whatever the karma was that, you know, that brought you back to these obstacles and challenges whatever brought you back to this life for these obstacles and challenges. You are coming out of it triumphantly and you are now coming to a point where what you've been wanting is going to happen. I mean, you know, the, this Knight of Earth, the Page of Water, King of Water, these I feel, even though they do go to other astrological signs, I think that their attributes really sum up Libra. You know, Libra, I think that you, you are kind, you are caring, you are sensitive, loyal, I, you know, all of those things. You've gone through your stuff, and we've been talking about that's been ending. All that stuff, those obstacles and challenges have been ending. That money, I still think that money's coming, and I think that's what I'm thinking about with the endings. That's ending. Those are going away. 
you are now entering into a new phase of your life or next life triumphant and you will start having you will start you will start attracting good things to you now remember though libra you have to speak it out if you're not speaking it out then you are not attracting it back okay if you don't believe it and you don't speak it then why would anybody else believe it and speak it why would anybody else believe that there were good things coming towards you so you have to believe it you have to speak it yes fulfillment of wishes are coming to me i am going to be triumphant in whatever it is that i see as success you know i am going to have my wishes fulfilled I am going to have a better life. These obstacles and challenges are now over with. They're done. But you have to accept it. And it's not like, you know, it's not like you say, okay, I accept it. You know what? I'm putting it out there. I'm, I'm getting rid of the garbage. And then you go, well, you know what? Maybe I'll take this piece of garbage back. You know, or maybe I'll take this back. No, you have to let it go and then you, in order for you to move forward with this. And... It looks like to me that there is going to be a really turning point for my Libras. And I love that. Let me know. Let me know about that. I still think that money's coming. If it hasn't come, it's on its way. And yeah, yeah. And, and the bad ickies are going to be ending. So let's see. Any last words for Libra? Oh. Okay, Libra. Using my Osha Tarot Zen zen tarot cards any last words for my libras okay any more last words for libras oh you got okay we got a couple that flew out i don't know okay now first one that came out and libra yes you are a little bit of the, the rebel Part of the world, you like to keep things in balance. And the thing about the world is they don't, you know, nothing ever seems to be in balance. So you rebel against that and you say, no, it will come into balance. Uh, but you also rebel, you rebel against the imbalance. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So, you know, so it is something that, you know, I love that about you. Okay, traveling. This is your new path. You're going to be going down a new path. You are, you know, your path may not be clear to you yet, but the path is going to be, it's coming to you. And you are going to the sun. You are going to the light. You are not, not the light. You are going to the sun and you are going to where things will be bright for you. Thing that you do have to watch out about is morality. Morality is, you know, I look at this as part of like with judgment and judgment using, um, <sighs> um, judgment, you know, okay, you know, like, okay, so when the lady, when the lady, um, justice, she's got her, you know, justice is blind and, you know, she's got the balance of the stale, of the scales, you know, and that's kind of Libra, the scales, the, the, the weighing and, you know, what is fair, what is balanced, but judgment doesn't necessarily mean that. Judgment means taking your preconceived um, thoughts and emotions and applying them to a situation. With morality, with this card, I look at this as something that's, you know, very, very, um, what do I, how do I want, I, I mean, this is, this is unwielding. This is, this has no compassion. This has no kindness to it. This has no, um, you know, this, this is like, you know, it, it, it's my way or the highway. And I, you know, I think, Libra, you have to watch out for that as you go forward. You know, you have to watch out that you don't, that you're not, you know, that you don't put yourself into a situation where you, you know, where you are judging and necessarily judging in a unkind manner. You know, we all need to have that kindness. We all have to have that, a bit of understanding okay and let's see what we have okay we have slowing down and this was reversed so basically 
you might be doing a little bit too much right now. You might need to, you, know, you might need to, especially these last two weeks, you might need to regroup yourself. You might need to take yourself back a little bit and, you know, and just kind of be in the moment now, okay? Be in the now moment, be in the present. Um, you know, there's that, that saying that if you live in the past, you, you tend to be depressed. If you live in the future, you tend to be anxious. But if you live in the now, you tend to be at peace. So live in the now, right now. These things are going to be coming, but still you need to regroup yourself and to live in the now. The thing, this is the last card, and this is an interesting card. It's not in any other tarot except for Osha. And this is the master. This is the one who has actually, and this goes back to, I think, when, we were, when I was alluding to karma. This is the one that has met. This is the one that has taken, that has, you know, that has met the obstacles, that has gone through, that has had the wishes. This is the person that has come into being. This is the person that knows who this person is and is comfortable with it. And there is a bigger, there's a bigger picture out there for this person. This person, this person is, I mean, you know, the intuition is there. The psychic ability is there. This person knows, this person knows things that people don't know. And I think that when we're talking about this, the morality card, you know, I think that, you know, the rebel, you're going to go on your journey, your journey, watch out for being too judgmental, take time to be, to be in your moment, because you're at, you're leading to a point where you are actually, you know, and, and, you know, this is like an ascendant being, you know, this is an ascended being, and this is in your cards, Leo, Libra. I'm going to call you Leo, I'm sorry. Libra. This is in your cards. This is in Libra's cards, ascended being. So, interesting stuff for you. You're going through, so, you know, you, yourself, money, still coming. Um, hard stuff, ending. Wishes, coming true. You're, you're gonna, you know, you are kind of that rebel. You need to be more in the moment, but you are coming to a point of being, yeah, an ascended master. You are developing into that if you've not already developed that. Now, I really want to hear from you, Libras. I want to hear what resonated with you on that because. This is like, you know, this doesn't, you know, this is the only card in, you know, in my three decks. This is the only card that does not have a duplicate to it. Okay? So you are, there's no duplicates for Libras. So, I want to wish you, if you celebrate Christmas, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Happy Kwanzaa. If you don't celebrate anything in the holidays, I hope that the the general um, good cheer of the holiday energy comes to you. I want you to know that you are blessed, you are loved, and I will talk to you in the new year. Bye-bye.